Hello, Ken Weller here with New Tech Inventors. And if you notice, this is our new modified spool holder to hold these wider spools of filament on our ET4X printers. And if you take a little bit closer look, you'll see that we're in the process of printing a part on these printers. The big question is, what is New Tech Inventors doing with this part? A lot of people have asked that question, and today we're finally going to get an answer. This part takes 12 hours to print on these ET4s, and it is uh, just about time for them to be completing. Going to wrap it up, and when they come off this glass bed, uh, you'll see how easy they come off. They just simply pop right off after the bed has cooled. And you have a good finished part. And it's easy to remove. has one good, uh, clean, shiny side on it there with that glass print bed. And absolutely no problems printing uh, these six parts for us today. So without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and turn this over to my other side, Ken, and let him to explain to you just what uh, this part is used for. Hello, Ken Weller here with New Tech Inventors. Well, tonight I've got something interesting to uh, share with you. These parts, some of which you've seen me experimenting on the uh, glass bed ET4X printers. You've probably seen this part printed on some of the videos that I've had. And maybe you've wondered what it is. Well, it's a part for an invention that I made and um, it was actually my first patent ever. I did patent this item, so uh, I'm free to discuss it with you and show you all about it. Uh, first of all, how it came about was, if you recall, I started this whole venture, I guess, or the idea started uh, in December of 2019, a little bit over a year ago. And I had the uh, idea of the helping hand. And you've seen the videos and the, all of the parts that I make for the helping hand. Well, I was making those parts and uh, working on the, the uh, patent for that item. And if you've ever done a patent, and I'll have a video uh, before too long to show you the whole process that I had to go through, but you have to actually... Uh, show design drawings of all the different parts and descriptions of all those parts, how they work together, what the purpose of the item is, a, a lot of stuff. So being first time for me and learning how to 3D print and everything else all in one, um, I was working on that through December and January, February, when March came around, COVID-19 had finally um, risen its uh, head. And um, on another note, I got my first COVID shot today, and I'm still here. So don't be afraid to go get one. I think it's a good idea. But COVID-19 had come on the scene, and I was thinking to myself, this is very difficult getting this patent for this helping hand because there are so many parts. There's electrical involved and everything else, different types of mounts. And um, I was really struggling to try to get to a point where I could get a patent with that. So sometime in March, I sat down and I thought, why couldn't I have come up with an invention that's simple? It's like a chip clip or something like that. Just something very simple that doesn't have a lot of complicated electronics and complicated parts. And something that 
everybody could use and not just certain hobbyists and um, uh, people that work with electronics or whatever that could benefit from the helping hand. And in the process of thinking, I was going through everything in my head and I started thinking about COVID-19 and for some reason I was um, thinking about kids in college on campuses and um, different schools and the cafeteria would be a bad place with this COVID going around to be sitting down with a lot of other kids and eating lunch. And I thought, well, what if they could uh, go someplace and sit down on a bench or sit down on some steps or a retaining wall or a rock or just anywhere in any chair and be able to eat their dinner? and have something that could hold it for them. So that's when the thought came to me that about this product. And the name is the Lap Diner. And what it is, uh, it, it requires very few parts compared to the helping hand. And these two parts, you've seen me printing the, these, and I've printed a lot of different prototypes and different colors and so forth. And uh, this part, I think you've probably seen it print. Well, the lap liner requires two of these parts, and you can see there's a slight difference in them, but they actually go together. And then, on the back, uh, two of these parts are required and four of these small screws to hold this on here. There's one on each side, so you have two of these. And then this is the fifth part that I print. So there are five printed parts with the lap diner, a hinge pin that goes through here. And when you take these two pieces and put them together, this pin creates a hinge and it will open and lock in the open position. And then it will close up like that. And then this piece here is for a cup holder. And it has a screw and a nut that attaches it and this will come out and lock into place for holding your drink. Okay. Now, I'll show you what the finished product looks like. This, again, is a prototype. But once you've put these pieces on, then you add this strap. <coughs> Pardon me. It's a two-inch wide strap like a seat belt. And it has a buckle similar to a seat belt. You unsnap this and open it up. And this basically um, opens into the lap diner. And then when this comes out into the open position, then your drink and get an empty Diet Coke bottle here to demonstrate your drink will sit in there. Then the belt and strap buckles around your leg and holds this tray firmly so you can put food on it. There's a ridge so that stuff won't slide off. Your drink can't spill. Uh, because it's pretty much locked in there and this will accept cans and standard drink bottles and so forth. Okay, as you can see, I've spared no expense in hiring this professional model to demonstrate the lap diner for you fine folks out there. As you can see, you open up the lap diner, it snaps into place, you pull out the cup holder and it locks in place. Then you take the two straps. Show me the buckle. Yeah. 
it just snaps like a regular seat belt and unlocks easily. You snap that around your leg, you pull the strap tight, and then you have a stable platform there on your leg and right in your lap. That's the lap diner. Insert your Coke. It accepts standard size bottles and cans. And we've got a little sack lunch here, compliments of Wendy's. Uh, good fries and a couple burgers there. Let's get them out. We've got plenty of room for them here on our lap diner. And now all you have to do is sit back, enjoy your meal, watch the football game, or uh, enjoy your friends and so forth. So it's as easy as that. Uh, let us know what you think about the lap diner. And it looks like our model's enjoying those burgers. I think he's already had maybe one too many. But it looks like he's happy. Okay, back to Ken. And uh, also cups. So that was the... Uh, that was the product that I came up with. And I thought, well, this, this should work. And it might be something that would be practical because if people are going to be um, avoiding eating in crowded restaurants and stuff and taking their lunch and going to a park or something like that. And then I started thinking a little bit more and thought, okay, what about... Um, football games, baseball games, sporting events, soccer games where uh, parents are watching their children play or even in a stadium environment. And I thought, well, this would be good because it allows you to hold that drink and hold the food comfortably and while your hands are still free and you're not having to set food down on the dirty bleacher floor or a lot of times there isn't room to put it beside you. So that was the whole idea behind the helping, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, lap diner. And I'm at the point now where I am going to start uh, printing uh, a larger number quantity of these uh, to sell. Now, if anyone's followed some of the comments that I've had, one of the comments that I had was about injection molding. And why don't I injection mold these parts? Well, this part is very suitable for injection molding. It's a very, the way it's made out, it would work very well with a mold, an injection mold, and an inexpensive mold, not a complex uh, mold. And so it would be a little more economical. Plus, because of the size of it, it takes so long to print on the 3D printer that it's just not practical. So why am I going ahead and printing them? Uh, I'm going to produce a quantity and assemble a quantity of anywhere from 100 to uh, possibly 200 of them and uh, sell them in some different venues, uh, possibly some on Amazon, uh, maybe some on eBay, and some on my website. And I want to see how they're received and get some feedback. And if it turns out that this is a desirable item and something that people will buy and be able to use, then I will go ahead and invest the money in having a mold made and uh, contract out to an injection molding company to um, make a medium uh, quantity of these parts, probably something like about 2,000 to 5,000 parts um, would be, I think, a reasonable price, uh, economical price range for the parts, uh, plus the cost of the mold. And I would expect the mold for this to be uh, somewhere in the ten to $20,000 range, uh, depending on 
how we do it, but I think we'd want to probably print um, both sides at the same time so it would be a larger mold and possibly and these parts would actually be molded into it so I wouldn't have individual parts to assemble there um, and then this part would have to be uh, also probably injection molded so it would match. So that's a little bit about uh, one of the other products that I'm getting ready to put on the market and a little bit about how I came up with the idea and um, let me know what you think. I'm very interested in getting feedback and if some of my ideas um, that I share with you, if, if they're not very practical, I'd like to hear it. It might save me some time and money um, if it's a goofy idea. But um, that's what I wanted to share with you today. And until the next time, happy printing.